my review for One Piece Mario Chapter 701, so let's get into this. So this week's One Piece Mario Chapter, it was a solid chapter for this week's One Piece Chapter. A lot of funny moments. Uh, they finally undress Rosa and you get to see their people and how they act and at the end it was like what the heck is going on here. So no summaries for this chapter, I just want to give my thoughts and opinions on this and predictions on what would happen next. So with that being said, let's get into this. So they're finally on dress for us and we see, oh, come on Frank, change the hair man, change the hair. We see them there and his hair is, come on man, stop it, change it, please. No, but in all seriousness, they're finally on the island and the thing is Luffy has the idea to try to ride on Momonosuke and this is where things get kind of interesting because there's this panel where we see Momonosuke and basically he doesn't want to show or tell him that he can fly he's like i don't fly i don't, I don't even know all chance i do I'm, I'm not gonna do it like it's just he was trying to like cover it up or something i'm not i'm not sure why exactly but there's a panel where we see and it says what's your name and he's, he seems all like nervous so i'm like what is going on what is what is he hiding exactly that he doesn't want them to know and i'm just very curious about that i just don't really know i could i don't know at all what that is so i'm very curious to what what is he trying to hide so after that, there was a little bit of comedy with freaking Momonosuke and freaking Kinemon, Kinemon with the dress. It, 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 was, it was funny, it was funny stuff, but here's the thing. Right after that, Trafalgar's Law ends up giving Nami a Vivid card. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's not really good because that's like foreshadowing right there. Something bad is going to happen. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I hope Law is going to be okay. I hope he doesn't die. That's all I can say. I hope he doesn't die because that, that alone right there kind of foreshadows something. Now, it could be soon or it could be later something happens soon, but the whole point is something might happen is, is all I'm saying. So I, I don't like that. I, I don't know. I don't like it. Law was trying to go over the plan with the crew and everything, but the problem is the captain left, freaking Luffy, he left along with Zoro, Frankie, Kinemon, and Sanji. And they're all on the island right now, and this is where we get to see basically a, a world building for how this island um, works, basically. And there's people. And so we get to see the island is full spectrum and stuff, and, and it's it's nice at first, you know, you have, you have like the nice flower bed, you know, the food smelling good, you got dancing ladies and stuff like that, you know, it was nice. But then there's toys. There are toys that walk around, talk and stuff, like what, what's what's going on here? And they coexist with the humans, so it's like, they, if, if for visitors, it'll, it'll be very, very, very odd. You know, for the rest of them, like the people that already live there, like, you know, they're, they, they coexist with them, so it's like they're not really bothered by it, so it's, it, it's odd. It, it's odd. Why are there toys walking around? How are they alive? <laughs> like, what's 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 going on exactly? I mean, that, that that threw me off. So I'm curious what this is all about when it comes to dress rosa and these toys. So I, I'm very curious about this. Luffy doesn't care that the toys are walking around right now. I'm like, I freaking I, I care. Like, explain a little bit of this. What's what's going, what's going on here? But they end up getting to, into their disguises and they're in this like pub area, and basically. One thing to note when it comes to this island or this this area that, of this island that they're on right now is it's people they don't really seem concerned that Don Flamingo left. Like they're just casual, fun time people. They're not even concerned at all. Like this doesn't affect them or something. But it's odd because we've seen like other places, like other islands. We're like oh my god, oh no, Frank Don Flamingo, he just stopped out. I got what we gonna do? What we gonna do? And stuff. So. It's it's odd that we don't see it from this island when, when it's on dress rosa. So it's, it's odd. And so at the end of this chapter, we have this blind man. He's playing roulette. Now that right there alone should think, hey, something's wrong with this. It's a blind man playing roulette. It's like you can't see the colors. So how do you know you're gonna win? And so these these guys are cheating him. They're like, oh, is he, when he lands on white, he's like, oh no, it's actually black. You're wrong. Like they're taking his money. They're taking his money. I'm like, are you serious? And so Luffy tried to step in and stop this. All of a sudden, he's like, he actually, you got the right color. So give him his money and stuff. And so then the guy got mad, tried to freaking fight Luffy and everything. And that's when Blind Man went face. He went face. I was like, what's going on? This sucker just opened up his sword. He's like, and all of a sudden, there's like a big gigantic hole in the ground. Like, what the heck happened? And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this sucker just did some kind of gravity thing, like spiritual pressure happens. Like, get on and it's freaking just got a big old explosion on the ground. Like it was, it was, just, it was crazy. You see that panel? God dang! Like what the heck? What's up with this guy? And he's blind. He's a blind man. He looks, he looks pretty beast. But he kind of reminds me of, of Kizaru. He looks like him. Like oh, well, obviously. Like he looks like him. He looks like him. So I'm just, I'm curious what this man is. Cause then it's like two possibilities who this person could be. Either he's Fujitora, you know, he's one of the admirals, or he's a person from the Wano country. 
I'm betting my money he's on the he's from the Wano country. He is he's a samurai. So I'm ho hopefully Kimon says something to him so that can come confirm it. So we can understand who this person is and so forth. So I'm curious about this guy. I am curious. He's freaking beast. It's like I just open this sword. Like bam. Like what the heck? Like seriously, what the heck? What would happen if he pulled the um unsheathed the sword then? Like what the heck would happen? You gonna blow the planet? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. This guy seems pretty beast. So I, I want to see. Where this goes, I want to see who who, who, who is this guy. Who is this guy? I, I just want to see all that. You know, I want to see, not be blinded. Oh no, that's just messed up. I'm sorry. But what I think is gonna happen in the next chapter is that we're gonna get the reveal of this blind man, of what's his name, where he's from, and stuff. I, I, I like to, I like to know this, but hopefully the next chapter will reveal this guy. And also probably gonna um, skim back to law side of things, because again, they didn't listen to the plan. They just left. And, you know, they're they're anywhere at this point. So this already gonna bring a lot of trouble. And so they're gonna try to go through their plan. They're gonna probably get to the green bit before they do or something. So we're gonna get get to see what they're what they're gonna run into. So I, I can't wait to see that. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this chapter. Like, like this review, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more one piece chapter reviews from me. This is a little late, like I normally, but I've been doing it because I'm waiting for the manga stream scan. So with that, yeah, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed that fun time, fun time stuff. Yeah, it's been the break master though. And until then, people, break out. Here's my review for Dang it. So after that, there's a little bit of kind of like clab calamity. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I got a freak of this now. Bah!